Hello everyone and welcome back to the next video in this collection update A5 binder series. <laughs> I don't know what I'm calling it. But basically, as I mentioned in my previous video in this series, highly recommend checking that one out actually if you'd like because I am not going to go into half as much detail as I did in this video that I did in that one. So I will link that up above and down below for sure. But basically, this is just a series in which I am going through each of my collections that I have made some changes to in the way that I am collecting them. And yeah, we're just moving on to the next group. And as you can very clearly see, we're going to be talking about Very Very today. Before I get started though, I did forget to mention one thing in my previous video, and that is that I have been sleeving each of the cards. They're not just in there, you know, um, raw. <laughs> I don't know if I like that word, but... I have been using these little ultra pro sleeves they are inner sleeves they are small they fit inside the a4 pockets which is great so if you're looking for a specific size it looks like they are 60 millimeters by 87 millimeters i did purchase these through my local gaming store but i will try and find an amazon link that i can link them to down below but i do highly recommend checking your local comic book stores and gaming stores board game stores because Typically, from what I've seen, the prices are much cheaper. So without further ado, let's get into looking at how I have updated my Very Very collection. First things first, very clearly, very obviously, we can see that I have a new A5 size binder. It is a six ring kind of rubbery, plasticky binder with a button closure. I did also buy this binder off of Amazon, so I will link that down below, as well as the four pocket pages that I have ordered with these as well. But basically for Very Very, my collection hasn't changed too much and I don't plan on changing it too too much going forward because if you don't know very very is not technically an alt group for me but they are a group that is very near and dear to my heart and I just don't think I mean as of right now I don't think I'm gonna be you know downsizing at all but you know with albums coming out in the future depending on how many cards there are per member I might just pick and choose a few here and there to keep with the four pocket the uh, multiple of four, <laughs> if that makes sense. So basically I have just gone in. What's great about the way I collect very, very is that I collect two members, which makes these four pocket pages great. Everything being in multiples of four is fantastic. So yeah, here we go. So we have the first album, which is various. And then we have the second album, which is variable. And as you can see, I do Gehan and Min Chen like that, that way. So that way the backs kind of look really nice. I feel like this is going to be probably the most organized and aesthetically pleasing of this series, just because I collect two members and it just works so well. Um, so next up we have the next album, or I think it was a single, which is the Very Chill album. And then we move on to Face Me. And then I believe this is still, no, then we move into Face You. And then have we moved into, yep, Face Us. <laughs> I always forget the order of them, but yes. And then I did um, for this album, which is the Series O Round One Haul. Uh, Min Chen was on a bit of, I hate, I can't speak, was on a bit of a hiatus. So what I did was just put all of Gehyun's inclusions on one page here, just so I could keep that intervals of four going on. And then here, as you can see, I'm missing two Min Chen cards, but they are on the way to me. So this is from their newest, or I guess most recent album, Series O Round Two Whole. So yes, just missing two Min Chen's, but they are on their way. And then I have the others from that album, as well as a few more from the album. As you can see, there were more photo cards per member for this album than there were in the past. So I'm hoping that doesn't continue to increase, but we'll see. And then um, these are just empty slots for whenever the next album drops. And then here, as you can see, I have started putting the like non-selfie inclusions. So we have some, um, I guess, clear transparent photo cards we have a few more up top as well as some lenticulars down below then we have some polaroid inclusions and puzzle piece inclusions this gehan fit inside one of the sleeves but this min chen did not and i think it's because he has like double edges whereas gehan has a flat corner so that's why it fit just right and this one did not fit at all and then we have some of these like semi-transparent inclusions i don't even know they're like translucent 
And then we have two units, one with Gehan and one with Minchan, perfect. And then we move into my pre-order benefits and fan sign cards. Um, way back when I was collecting these, I tried my very, very best. Uh-huh, my very, very best. I love when that happens. Um, to get matching cards for both members that I collect, I didn't continue that as strictly um, as I continue on with the collection, so I will explain that a little bit more soon. But as of right now, these are the pages where I had matching cards for both members, which I think is very aesthetically pleasing, if I do say so myself. So there they are. I love these ones. Like just in general, this page is probably my favorite. <laughs> and then we have these ones. I could not tell you where half of them are from anymore unless they say like make star on it. But yeah, so there's all of those. Some more. And I also went in order of when these albums dropped, but I think I started from, like I don't have early pre-order benefits for both of them, but that's fine. We have two hollows, which I love. And then here we have a Polaroid set that came from the Very Us album. So it's all of the members as well as a group shot, which is perfect because it fits in two of these pages perfectly. And then here I put a little divider. And the reason for that is these are the pre-order benefits and fan sign cards that I have that I didn't have matching. So like I didn't have both. I didn't have Min Chan's equivalent, if that makes sense. So what I decided to do was make one, uh, what? Make one four pocket page for Yehan's photo cards that I wanted to keep, one four pocket page for Min Chan's that I wanted to keep, and then a, another page where I had two Gehans and two Min Chans. And I think that means moving forward that I'm really just not gonna be focusing on pre-order benefits for them anymore at all. I just feel like I have way too many and it was hard enough to pick the four that I wanted to keep. And I just don't wanna, you know, I just, I don't need them all. I really don't. I'd love to focus on if I'm gonna put my energy in collecting them or everything for them, I would love that to be album cards and not pre-order benefits anymore. So that's just how it's gonna be moving forward. But that is my updated very, very collection in this cute little A5 binder. I love the way this looks. I'm so happy with it. And I can't wait to kind of transform some of my other collections as well, which you will see moving forward. But I just think this is such a great move for me personally and my collections. Like I said, it just helps me to focus on not buying as much anymore. There's going to be a lot of life changes for me in the future, which I'm not going to get into in this video, but focusing my money saving habits <laughs> needs to be the priority for this year. So as I said, there will be more videos in this series. So I highly recommend subscribing if you feel like it. So you're in the loop and you don't miss any of them as they come out in the upcoming days. But I hope you enjoyed this one. And next up, we'll see. Who do you think it'll be? Sound off in the comments below. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.